Hello, in this simple short video, I'm just going to talk to you about the Yuzu emulator, which is a Nintendo Switch emulator, and I'm going to talk to you about the Vulcan aspect and what I think this means for Steam Deck. So Vulcan been out in it for a little while. First of all, let me just show you how to you know, activate Vulcan in it if you do not know. If you want to know how to just set up Yuzu, don't worry, I've got a video covering the setup of it. I'll provide a link to that in the description so you can, you know, set that up. So that's no issue for you. Just go to emulation, configure. And in here, go to graphics, API, select Vulkan. And for the devices, you just select your graphics card. I've got one, so that's probably all, you know, all we need to, you know, select. Okay, so that is it. And then you would just obviously, you know, click okay so i think i actually selected an option that wasn't meant to be selected so i'll go back onto it and um, now it was actually all right so you just select vulcan click okay and there you go you've got vulcan and that has the potential right now potential to improve performance obviously check on your system if you've got a higher end system you probably you know may not you may not see the performance increase as much as if you have a low rent system and this is why steam deck really interests me in terms of yuzu and vulcan yes steam deck is not super low end but it's not some high-end pc with an rtx 3090 and some you know ryzen 16 core cpu it's it it, it isn't it's it is still a essentially a mobile device that is highly optimized and decent power but not the highest of power so i think if nintendo switch games via emulation on vote on yuzu and ryu jinx as well for that matter do not run very well on OpenGL on steam deck i think there's a lot of possibility that they'll run well and if if not well better but i think they'll run well on or using the vulcan graphics api so I genuinely think when the Steam Deck comes out, what, in four days, I'm not getting mine till Q2, because that's the availability by the time I had ordered, which was like just an hour or something like that after the orders came live. But when it comes out, people will test it and we'll find out. But I'm positive that Switch games are going to work pretty well off the bat, which is going to be great, which, you know, obviously a lot of people are excited by that. It's the fact that they can have a handout machine that can play a lot of PC titles. It can be thousands of PC titles, if not tens of thousands of PC titles that just just run well. Especially over the last you know few decades, there's been loads of titles. And then they, they're going to have all the emulators from old consoles like NES, SNES, N64, PS2. PS3 is looking promising as well. Check out my video, you know, covering talking about that as well. Our PC S3 on the Steam Deck and Dolphin is also, you know, looking promising for GameCube and Wii. So this is gonna be a pretty big powerhouse, portable, cheap, and dockable as well. And you'll be able to play Switch games. So it's kind of like a Switch, but just more powerful and allows you to do so much more. Obviously, we'll wait to see if this, you know, pans out. But that's my little prediction that I think Vulcan in Yuzu and also Ryu Jinx is making headway with Vulcan as well in terms of, you know, you know, getting more and more performance out of it. I think they're a bold well for the Steam Deck. So that's just my little tidbit and just my opinion on stuff. Steam Deck's coming out in the next few days. Shame I'm not going to get my whole hands on one straight away because I would have loved to test it and create videos for you guys. But I'll see you all soon. If you have any questions, feel free to join the Discord group. There's a link in the description. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.